Let y of x be the function that solves the differential equation dy dx minus x e to the negative 2y equals e to the negative 2y with the condition that y at 1 is 0. We have to find y at 2. The first step in the process is to separate the variables. Now we have to do some algebra here to get ourselves started. The current um, separate the variable step is for us to get the y and dy on the left hand side and the x and dx on the right hand side. Anything with x or dx on the right hand side. So there's terms that need to move but first let's uh, ship over to the right hand side. This term x negative x e to the negative 2y by adding it over. And then we have to recognize on the right hand side that both of these terms have this e to the negative 2y. So let's factor it out. And with this e to the negative 2y, we could write it on the denominator as e to the 2y. So now we have things ready to be moved from one side to the other. This e to the 2y can't be on the right hand side. This dx can't be on the left hand side. So we multiply to clear those out. e to 2y will no longer be on the right. dx will no longer be on the left. And we have it separated. e to 2y dy is equal to 1 plus x quantity uh, times dx. We've separated the variables. Second step is to integrate both sides. So we're integrating e to 2y and we're integrating 1 plus x. Whenever you integrate e to a constant times y, you have to divide by 1 over that constant to balance out the chain rule. The right hand side's antiderivative is x plus x squared over 2. They both have a c, but we combine them on the right hand side as plus c. So we've done steps 1 and 2. We've separated the variables, we've integrated both sides. Now let's go to the next slide and continue to solve this problem. There's a condition that says y of 1 equals 0. Step 3 is to plug in this condition to find out what c is. So when x is 1, y should be 0. That'll leave the equation only with c. Plug it in. So e to the 0 times a half is equal to 1 plus 1 squared over 2 plus the c. e to 0 is just 1. All these guys are 1's when you square them and you leave it alone. So we have 1 half is equal to 1 plus a half plus c. Uh, these guys would cancel out. You would ship the 1 over to the other side. So it looked like c is negative 1. Okay, plug it right back in to your equation, and this will be a representation of your function. It's not necessary that you solve it for y, just answer the question that's being asked. Let's take a look at that on the next slide. The question that's being asked is for you to find y at 2. So let's go ahead and solve the problem. Let's plug in x equals 2, and then we can solve for y. You could solve for y first and then plug in 2. Either way it works. I, I like this way so I'm dealing with all numbers. So 2 plus 4 over 2 is 2 plus 2. So that's a 4 minus a 1. It's a 3. Times everything by 2. And now we're ready to get to the y by taking the natural log of both sides. Because these guys are inverse operations of each other and that's how they cancel. So we'll get that 2y is the natural log of 6 or that y is one half of the natural log of 6.